You know, part of me was actually worried because everybody kept telling me, you need to go to CES, the connections, the connections, the connections. And I didn't get any sponsors to offer for me to go. And I was considering paying out of pocket, which was going to be like $2,000 for everything, flight, hotel, etc. And so I ultimately decided not to go and thank God, I did not go to CES. What a colossal waste of time. Earlier today, NVIDIA did their presentation, nothing but a bunch of AI. AMD literally just finished their presentation and nothing but AI publicly. Behind the scenes in the back room, they gave us one new CPU, which we're about to talk about. And then here in a couple of minutes, NVIDIA will do a GeForce uh, keynote or something like that, but they're doing it at 12 a.m. EST. It's almost like they're not proud of what they're about to launch. I don't know. But anyway, things are not what they used to be. It's all about AI now and shareholders and venture capital investors and all that crap. But anyway, for the gaming news, here you go. AMD announced one new CPU, the 9850X3D. Now, previously, this was leaked, and so we're not surprised by this. But also, there were rumors of the 9950X3D too, which is something I was very excited to see because I have a 9950X3D. 3D and it is very annoying having to deal with core parking and overcoming those issues. So my hope was that the the V2 version of that would have the 3D V cache on both CCDs and then we could eliminate core parking or maybe it wouldn't be as big of a factor. But ultimately AMD decided not to make that announcement officially, unfortunately. Now I'm pulling data here from videocards.com and Hardware Unboxed. Hardware Unboxed just released their video and they gave us extra slides that AMD did not present during their official keynote. For whatever reason, the 9850X3D was not a part of this very, very long keynote. They decided to launch it in the back room somewhere in secrecy. I don't know. But the 9850X3D is basically an overclocked 9800X3D. We do not know the official price of it. We do not know the official release date. Sometime Q1 2026 is all we have. And it is basically an overclocked 9800X3D, which makes it about 3% faster than the 9800X3D. And that's according to AMD's own slides, which I will share with you here in just a moment. Today, AMD is announcing the Ryzen 7 9850X3D as an 8-core, 16-thread Zen 5 desktop part with 96 megabytes of L3 cache, including 64 megabytes of stacked 3D V cache. The main change is clock speed. AMD lists up to 5.6 gigahertz max boost, up from 5.2 gigahertz on the Ryzen 7 9800X3D. Leaks also point to a 4.7 gigahertz base clock and a 120 watt TDP matching the previous chip's power class. Pretty much, this was reported earlier today and they're saying you know leaks suggest this and that but they're pretty much right and spot on as you can see uh, pretty much all of this turned out to be completely true for gaming AMD says the Ryzen 7 9850X3D beats Intel's core Ultra 9 285K by an average of 27% the company also cited a 5% gain in Call of Duty Black Ops 7 and a 60% gain in Baldur's Gate 3 AMD has not yet confirmed pricing and the company is expected to discuss it during its live CES keynote nope that did not happen. The presentation makes no mention of the Ryzen 9 9950X3D. Nope, unfortunately, it did not. Now, we can talk about all the specs here, but I got another slide for that, and that's coming directly from Hardware Unbox. I could not find these slides online, so I pulled them from Hardware Unbox's channel, and I'll give them credit down below. AMD Ryzen 7 9850X3D, the world's fastest gaming processor just got faster. Still eight cores and 16 threads, no change there. The only notable improvement is the 5.6 gig Gigahertz, CPU boost clock, 104 megabytes cache, exactly the same, 120 watt TDP, socket AM5, DDR5, all of that is exactly the same. And here's another slide showing you that side by side. You have the 9850X3D and the 9800X3D side by side. 8 core, 16 threads, 5.6 versus 5.2 gigahertz. So that's a 400 megahertz increase, 104 megabytes, 120 watts. Everything's the same there. You can see that for yourself. And now this is where things get very interesting. As you can see, AMD is claiming the 9800X3D is 24% faster than Intel's 285K in this benchmark run across all of these games. And now when we take the 9850X3D, that only goes up to 27%. When you do the math, 27 minus 24, that equals three. It is a 3% faster CPU, even according to AMD's own slides. And when you go through, you can see that 124% versus 127, and then you can see 128 versus 132, okay, 4% there. 
but the exact same over here, 112 to 112, only 2% here, 103 to 105. And then over here, you can see 135 to 138. That's a 3% improvement. 136 to 139, 3%. Oh, hey, look, we got a 6% there in Hogwarts Legacy, 140 to 146, 8% in Counter-Strike 2, and Boulder's Gate 3, now we get 7%. Okay, cool. So there are some examples here where you know, it, it can go above 3%, which is great. But on average, again, according to AMD's own slides, this is an overclocked 9800X3D that is 3% faster, and they plan to launch the CPU and run it alongside the 9800X3D. I don't understand that. I don't get it. Now, look, I love AMD. I love their CPUs. I love the X3D processors. I cannot tell you how much money I've spent over the years on AMD CPUs and their X3D processors. AMD has never once sent me a CPU for review or anything like that. It's never been sponsored or anything like that. But as much as I can respect and appreciate the 9800X3D, we do not need this part. We do not need the 9850X3D. And if they're going to have it, then they need to discontinue the 9800X3D. But anyway, that's my two cents. I'm going to go watch the NVIDIA presentation now. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your, your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. And until next time, you rock out.